Hey guys, Kenny here. I'm here to review the 2011 action adventure sequel, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. This has to do with Jack Sparrow trying to get to the Fountain of Youth while also having this uh, new pirate, uh, Blackbeard, played by Ian McShane. Uh, uh, going with him because of Blackbeard is one one to drink the drink the f fountain of youth uh, for his own gain he's not a good he's an evil pirate <clears throat> and then uh, Barbosa is now working for the King's match the uh, He's working for the Queen's Army this time. And he's still a good character. I really liked him. Uh, Penelope Cruz is a new addition. And I really liked her character in this. There's a particular mermaid that's also quite good. She doesn't have very many lines. But she's memorable. I still remember her now. And then there's this guy who plays like this uh, religious man who's, I think he probably has uh, the, probably the third or fourth, I think he has the fourth best performance in this. And there's a, there's a shipmate pirate who used to be with, who was on the uh, Black Pearl with uh, Jack Sparrow in previous films who comes back again and it was really nice seeing him uh, I didn't think he would actually be in this <clears throat> so this Pirates of the Caribbean it really does feel like a true sequel so, there are people who say that it's that it's a true sequel and I agree I think this it's definitely the best sequel. Uh, and I think this far surpasses Dead Man's Chest and At World's End. Like if you go from the first end to this, you're really not missing much because it, this really has no mention of Dead Man's Chest or At, <clears throat> at World's End in it at all. Um, the action is still is hard to fathom but it's probably at its best in this in this particular movie and the acting overall through from everyone is top-notch especially Johnny Depp Ian McShane was perfect as uh, Blackbeard I liked Penelope Cruz I can't remember her character's name but she was a very good choice um, yeah, I also agreed that some people didn't uh, believe that she was holding on to a snake at a certain moment in the movie because it was like she was trying to make a guesstimation of where it is but it still worked for me it looked it still I, it wasn't that it wasn't too bad for me so I bought it um There is a lot of adventure in this, even though it was in one, it was really in one location. It was shot in Hawaii, this particular parts of the Caribbean, instead of shot in the Caribbean uh, itself. It was shot down, it was shot in Hawaii, maybe because of lower cost. <clears throat> um, I really did enjoy the story in this. If there was anything bad, it was, uh, I I agreed that I liked Rob Marshall's directing in this. Uh, he was uh, it was a little odd because he's known for sh directing Chicago and um, the musical film Nine, not the number nine, the Nine, the musical uh, film. 
Um, but I think he handled a lot of the shots very well, nice and steady, and zoomed out where you could actually see what was going on. But sometimes it was a, in a little too close and jerky. It was like some. It was like yeah. It was like uh, he gave the camera to another cameraman. They didn't, and that uh, cameraman didn't know what to do. He was shaking all around. But it wasn't that bad to me. I didn't get uh, woozy over it, so it worked for me. Um. It's just, this was an incredibly exciting adventure. I was very glad to be, uh, I was very glad to see it. Um, I really think uh, this really is the, the better, se the best sequel out of all four of the films. So... I highly recommend this if anyone hasn't seen it. It's still fairly new, so I'm sure there's still quite a few people that are have haven't gotten around to see it. So if any of you haven't gotten around to see it, I highly recommend this. It's still fairly new, so you should be able to catch it at your major theater wherever. So highly recommended. That's all I gotta say. So. Stay cool and roll out to the movies.